something around, like an addiction or a destructive behavior that we don't talk about, it's like being in prison. You're being in prison in your own head. When I think about addiction, the first thought is drugs and alcohol, but also food, sex, negative thinking, work, and being stuck. Being stuck in a situation that we're not getting out of. And why aren't we? So I know a lot about change, and for me to describe it to you, I'm gonna show you my life. I loved my mom. My mom was the best mom. She was the weirdest and kookiest and the most awesome mom. And then that day happened. That day, when I was 11 years old, I actually killed my mom. So instead of telling someone, I started to hurting myself. And for me, that was when my addiction started. Because instead of telling you what I felt and telling my pain that I was living with, I started cutting myself. I was addicted to Vicodin and Oxycontins for 12 years. And I went from four a day to 60 a day in about two weeks. It was fast. I felt fantastic. It completely numbed me. And I ran the gallery looking like this for 12 years. I was perfect. I changed everything. I've changed everything. We work with uh, drug prevention programs uh, for youth around the world. And I think her story and her inspiration in terms of how you can build uh, that willpower and motivation within you uh, has applications everywhere. So few people know how addiction really affects your, your uh, body and your mind and your brain and your whole life. So this is very important. This is what a brain looks like even if you don't have an addiction and you're stuck in something, you're not changing. I'm going to tell you why. Even negative thinking, destructive behaviors, Things, these are not holes in your head. These are pieces that are actually shut down. We have fantastic brains. They can all change. You know who has the power to change your brain? You do. Like I wake up in the morning sometimes on the wrong side and I stay there. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna just be in the shitty mood all day. But I can change it if I want. Because remember who has the power over our brains? We do. So my takeaway and what I really loved about the presentation is uh, everything around attitude. I think that's really, you know, what makes the difference. I think that was a very good way to put it. That's, uh, you can choose your attitude and I'll uh, try to work on that. I think one was, was one of the main takeaways. And another one that I really liked a lot was uh, to say yes to change. That sounds like a good idea to try. Being here with you and you're being here with me and I'm so incredibly grateful for you and for me to be able to speak to you and to be seen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Aniki. You have Thank given you. us so much to think about <laughs> and so much inspiration. Thank you. You are fantastic. And thank, thank you for thank you. all of us. <laughs> it's a little vodka in here. <laughs> <laughs> very moved by her presentation. It was so powerful. Um, I think she's definitely a source of inspiration for anyone. And she delivered the presentation with such charisma, eloquence, articulation, and genuineness, and really invited us to learn about um, how to really handle a variety of topics related to um, growing as a person and handling addiction and recovery and, and really learning how to change uh, negative thoughts around. So I would say that anyone would be fortunate and lucky enough to have her should snatch her up because she's probably going to be doing a lot of worldwide tours on this subject.